Shut up and sit down. Hi, I'm Peter Matavish. Welcome back to another DC tutorial. So we're continuing on with C4 from the 2017 paper. So we're going to C A or C4 part A. So this is C4 part uh, B. And just like the last one, this was requested. Same comment. So the graphics on the right show an enlarged view of a gripper mechanism on a robotic arm. The details of part of the upper jaw of a similar gripper are shown in diagram format in um, C4B below. Jaw AB is pin jointed to at B uh, to link BC and AB always remains horizontal. So first part, draw the horizontal axis CC2, uh, the link B, C and the horizontal jaw AB as shown. Okay, so as always, these linkage questions, you draw it's given. Just a quick look through it, um, see all the measurements seem to be there and then we'll get our details in for the linkage afterwards. So I'm going to keep this, keep this low, it seems to be rotating up and also it might be better, easier to see. So draw with given first. Okay, so that is our information given. Oh, geez, could they make it any longer? It's almost the full width of the page. So let's see. So that's part one. So draw the horizontal axis. Blah, blah, blah. So we've done what's given. And remember up above, so AB is pin jointed and AB always remains horizontal. So A and B always has to remain horizontal. So part two, the entire mechanism, mechanism ABC moves to the right as indicated by arrow X. Okay, so the whole mechanism moves to the right until point C reaches C1. At the same time, the link BC rotates clockwise about point C through 60 degrees uh, to a vertical position. Plot the locus of A for the combined movement. All right, so we're moving from so we're moving from C to C1. B is rotating about C, so it's at 30 degrees. So it's going to rotate the extra 60 to reach a vertical position. So at C1, we're going to have a vertical line for B, and the lengths remain the same. So we could just probably draw that in now and draw it across just to show how it's going to go. Uh, so let's just remember. Let's just make sure we know what we're doing. Uh, C reaches C1 uh, at the same time rotates to 60 degrees. So what we should do is divide the length up into six. So if it's full revolution or half revolution, we'd go uh, with 12 and six. But I'm going to go with six here because I'm going to do every 10 degrees that it rotates. So the length from C to C1 is 120. So divide that into six. So what we're looking at here is C moves to C1 and at the moment that's 30 degrees but at, C, at point 1 it has moved another 10 degrees so now at C1 it is going at 40 degrees so at C1 you need to get a better protractor at C1 we're going to mark up 40 degrees so not the original 30 but 40 and that is the angle that that linkage is going at there now so the measurements remain the same. The distance from C to B isn't going to change, it's just moving. So distance from C to B, that's the same. Mark it from point one, and you know that, actually, what's it asking for? The locus of what? So plot the locus of point A. So that's point B, it remains horizontal. The distance remains the same, which is 60. So mark that across, and that is A1. So we're not drawing that in strong, it's only locus of A that we need. So it moved up 10 degrees, so that's 40 degrees. So now we're going uh, 50, 60, 70, 80, and then you'll have your 90 at the top, okay? So let's mark those in. Now my fast forward through is got the same setup, we're just going at different angles. So this is, this is the original 30 degrees. This is 40, because it rotates up. So we have to put an angle. So this is 50, this is going to be 60 degrees, 70, 80 and your final one is a right angle of 90. Okay, so I'm just going to fast forward through the section.
Okay, so that is the locus of point A. So that's position for A, the locus of A for each of the positions. So we had to rotate it every 10 degrees because it's rotating through 60 degrees. So join those uh, lightly and then draw them strong. Draw them lightly, uh, join them lightly freehand and then go over strong. Part two done, it's a plot the locus for point A. Now part three, the entire mechanism ABC then moves further to the right with point C now moving from C1 to C2. At the same time, the link BC rotates 60 degrees anti-clockwise. Okay, uh, about point C. On the same diagram, plot the locus of A for this second combined movement. All right, so we have it going now from C1 to C2. This time it is going anti-clockwise so it's going back down and it is a rotate 60 degrees so it's going 60 degrees so actually it's so it's going back to its original position but this time still moving to the right so again we have six segments 60 degrees so we divide 0 to 6 uh, c1 c2 which is 60 mil so that's handy enough we divide up uh, into 10 mils so split up c to c c1 c2 in uh, 10 mil segments and we need to go back down then anti-clockwise every 10 degrees so 80 70 so there's gonna be a lot of lines on this but we'll we'll get through so first thing divide up c1 c2 next now we are going it's rotating anti-clockwise so this time it was rotating up this way now it is rotating back down so we're moving up in our measurement so we're starting at 90 now so we're going back down so 7 will be 80 70 60, 50, 40, 30. And that's the angle that you're doing at. So basically you're doing the same thing again, but backwards. So 80 degrees now from seven. So I'll do one to show you, and then I'll fast forward to the rest. So at point seven, we are going to mark 80 degrees. Again, the linkage stays the same height that's the distance from C to B these are all point B's a B remains horizontal and measure over 60 mil and a 7 is here okay so the same thing now so that was 80 degrees so we're going 70 60 50 40 and back down to 30. Okay, so same as before, just I will fast forward through the second now. So that's all our A points and we're plotting the locus of this combined movement so we can join it back up to A6 so draw in freehand lightly then go over it strong. Okay so that is part B of question C4017 finished. So I want you to plot the locus of point A as BC rotated through 60 degrees so it started at 30 so at C1 it had to finish vertical as I said in the question. So we had to divide it up the distance there into six because we're going 60 degrees so it's handy to divide up for it every 10 degrees then from c1 c2 again it was moving to 60 degrees but this time it was going anti-clockwise so it was rotating down so we need to put the measurements down we needed to go from that 90 back down 60 degrees to our 30 degrees at the final position here each one of these marks here is the position of b as it rotates because for our constraints we knew it went up c went up 40 degrees at this point we knew that that was the distance from c1 to b1 and then horizontally across the a is always going to be horizontal from b and then same distance was 60 so that's all you do you keep putting in the same constraints over and over again so each one of these points here represents uh, b each one of these here again for a second combined movement represents b 
I just didn't label them because I thought it would be clearer if we just labeled A. So that's a nice linkage question and that is the 2017 C4 question finished. So as always, I hope these tutorials help. Um, if they do help you, please leave a like. Uh, again, it gives me feedback so I know how these questions are coming across. And as always, subscribe as well so you know when I upload because remember, it is kind of hit and miss. So as always, good luck in your exams and we'll see you in the next one.